binding attachment. The binding attachments clip on quite easily like this, in, and lock down. Standard binding, 7 8 inch poly, which I'm putting on now. And there is our 7 8 inch binding. Many people, many people opt to go to the wider binding, the inch and a quarter, because it covers the edge of the binding better, richer look, and uh, it also saves you from a lot of beveling, because if you have an exceptionally heavy carpet and you want to use the standard 7 8 inch tape, it doesn't make it all the way around the carpet. So if you decide to go for the optional inch and a quarter folder, just as simple. And the inch and a quarter folder is right in front of me. Clip on, lock it down. Remove the 7 8 inch tape. Most people use poly. The unit works with both. Here's the inch and a quarter polyester binding. And here we go. And you can see how it covers better, a little bit wider. Matter of fact, I can take it and sit right over seven inches. That was just good. Okay. Now. Let's say we want to do 3 inch wide binding, no problem, remove this, we take our 3 inch binding, whether cotton or polyester, it works well with either one, and I also forgot to mention the inch and a quarter folder works well with either poly or cotton. Works as good with one or the other on the same folder. Three inch. Put it up on our tray. We clip it the folder on just like we did with the standard seven eighths or inch and a quarter. We lock it down. Bring the needle up. Just under here. Get this to the back corner, and we're well set. Then we take a piece of carpet and uh, here we go. Of course, all NC folders are adjustable with two screws that hold them on. Move it from right to left to determine where you want your stitch to lay on the binding. There's your three inch. Okay, let's say we, we want to go to 5 inch binding, and it can, works with cotton or poly, regardless. Okay, we remove our 3 inch tape, and we take our 5 inch folder. Tape up there. Mm -hmm. 
you see I have to have this clip in. And then we lock it down. Okay. Lock down. Can't get my hand there because of the size of the folder, so that's why you have to use a screwdriver. Lift this up. And now we're ready to sew five inch on. Now here's a case where I would probably opt to move the folder slightly to my right because I think it's in a little too deep. Wait a minute. Sorry, that's me. And it isn't too deep. I would loosen these two screws, move the folder further over to the right so I can get my stitch even closer to the edge. Okay. What else can the TPB do? It can sew on surging tape. For those of you who don't have a surging machine, don't have enough call for it, or don't want to invest in it, there's a product called Surging Tape that we've introduced in an inch and a quarter diameter. We have uh, over a hundred colors to select from. Naturally, our chart are available for all of these products. You see five inch. 3 inch cotton, polyester, inch and a quarter cotton, 3 quarter cotton, inch and a quarter poly, 7 eighths inch poly, so forth and so on. Okay, so let's do surging tape. Uh, we merely put our surging tape folder on, which is fold. Here it is. Clip it on like we do all the other folders. Back. Lock her down. Take our surging tape, whatever color you decide, on. I can run the surging tape back here, or I can run it through the folder. And I like to go through there. I don't use this here. Some people like to use it. I don't. It's a matter of opinion. Uh, what I'm looking at right now is more or less where my stitch is. And I like to uh, put a little pressure on it and guide it up or down accordingly. Okay, so let's take a carpet here. Here's a carpet that was already done with the surging tape. We'll, we'll apply it on the other side. Now, while I'm working this on the TPB, if I'd like to get my stitch a little closer to the edge, I can hold the tape down a little. If I want to get it, if I'm too far to the left and missing the bottom, let's see if we're missing the bottom. I doubt it. We're close to the bottom. I can hold this down a little bit, this tape, guide it down as I go. And then you've got your surging tape wrapped all the way around. And it's a pretty nice look. The surging tape is 100% cotton. Um, and it's available in over a hundred colors. All NC orders are shipped the same day, um, with rare exception. And uh, of course, TPBs are also capable of sewing on fringe, fringe adapter, really. Remove your Surging tape folder, slip on your 
fringe attachment and before you sew on your fringe what you do is you must bind the edge of the carpet whether you use inch and a quarter or seven eighths it's, it's not important the border of the carpet has to be bound you put the carpet right here uh, use this here to give you an example let me just cut off a piece a PC2 cutter NC's got a full line of portable cutters, pneumatic, uh, battery operated, regular electric, you can see them on our website. And uh, you would bind this and once it's bound you would put it under here. Uh, what you would do is you really should start the fringe first. You would take your fringe, you'd start sewing the flat edge. Once it's underneath the feed wheel, then you put your carpet here and then you would uh, sew on the fringe. The fringe would come under here and of course a needle would sew on the top of it. Um, I don't happen to have any fringe with me but it's quite quite easy. And uh, these fringe attachments are readily available. This is a short video on how to mount and use the wide border tapestry attachment on the NC TPB. First thing you do is you remove your, your attachment, your quick change attachment standard attachment and if you look at the bottom of the standard attachment it's got the clip same thing with the tapestry attachment it's got the clip that clips right right onto that steel plate so it's a it's a quick mount and a quick dismount so um, when you go to mount it you must swing this here to the back of the machine so that it can fit in here now we're ready to mount the attachment the clip, push in like I just did. Oops, I didn't clip it. Let me get it clipped right. Okay, she's clipped on. Now, what's going to hold it in place is the screw that we send you with the attachment, and that goes right in the hole that's already threaded and tapped on every TPB that we manufacture. We put that there, and we get a screwdriver which I forgot to get with me, which, oh yeah, here's one right here. Whoop. Okay, we're in, ready to rock and roll. Um, first thing you do when you go to use, utilize a tapestry attachment is you, you start the tape wide border. I have some 5 inch cotton binding here and we have a full line of 5 inch as well as 3 inch and you, and you um, start the tape and you sew it till it gets to the back puller and then we will start the carpet. Now if you noticed uh, the, the guide here leads right to the needle and I have my stitch approximately an eighth of an inch in from the edge. Now if I needed to go in a little deeper it's adjustable. I would merely loosen these two screws here and move my guide to bring it in where the needle catches the edge of the tape. Now this bottom guide is for the carpet that we're going to sew the tapestry or wide border onto and, and you must keep that guide butted the carpet butted right up against the guide. The question you have to ask yourself is how far from the edge of the carpet do you wish to go in with the tape? How much tape do you want to show? Well, if you want to show an inch and a half, this is about it. From here to here is an inch and a half. If you wish to show more, then you would um, merely loosen these two screws, which is the guide for your carpet and move it further to the right. Now, here you've got at least two inches showing. You want to go further, you can go up to three. The machine actually goes up to about four inches. Now, it stops here, but you would take these two screws out, they're extra holes, and move it. It'll go all the way up to the pin here. So, I'm going to show approximately three, three plus inches. I'll lock these two screws down, 
which hold the adjustable guide for the carpet depth. And then we will slowly sew tapestry or wide border tape to the top of the carpet. I must keep my carpet against the guide. And you can see what I'm doing by the tape coming up from the floor. Once I'm done, we'll merely flip the uh, tape over the top of the carpet, tapestry, and glue, glue what's left on the underside. Of course, you can miter your corners if you wish. You can hand miter them or just sew over. Okay. Cut this off the back. Then this gets flipped over and glued on the underside. And there you have your your wide border tapestry application. Blind stitched. Blind stitch. They call it blind stitch. It's not it's just that once you fold the tape over, you're actually hiding the stitch. Just that simple.